Adding pizzas. Shade one half. Shade one half. Okay. Shade one half. Yep. Shade one quarter. Okay. Shade one quarter. Shade three quarters. And this was to show that a half plus a quarter equals three quarters. A half is worth two quarters. That's why a half is changed into two quarters because two quarters plus one quarter equals three quarters. That makes a lot more sense. Two quarters plus one quarter equals three of them. When you start adding or subtracting fractions questions, write this first. Half plus a quarter equals three quarters. That reminds you that you've got to get the bottoms the same. Why is this? How can I have one plus one equals three? Well, it's not. It's one plus one equals three. Two plus four equals four. It doesn't make any sense. The half has changed into quarters. Two quarters. Now it makes sense. Two quarters plus one quarter is three quarters. Bottom, bottom, bottom. The three bottoms are the same. That's it's crazy unless you know that half is worth two quarters times by two the top times by two the bottom to get equal fractions lots of different fractions are equal to half things like three six is equal to a half and four eighths is equal to a half and ten twentieths anything where half it's on the top half What's on the bottom is halved to make the thing on the top. Hey, So now a half plus a quarter is two quarters plus one quarter is three quarters. Yeah, makes sense. That's why a half plus a quarter is three quarters. So when adding or subtracting, you must make the bottoms the same. I once made one of my students remember this by saying bottom, bottom, bottom until she got it right. Yeah, she's a teacher now. She did really well. Now try 11 twelfths, take away 5 sixths. Okay, okay, okay. So I've got to make the small bottom into a big bottom. 5 sixths is how many twelfths? Well, so times by 2 the bottom, so times by the 2 the top. 10 twelfths. 10 twelfths. 11 twelfths, take away 10 twelfths. 1 twelfth. 5 sixths is 11 is 10 twelfths times to the top times to the bottom so 11 twelfths minus 5 6 is the same as 11 twelfths minus 10 twelfths which is 1 twelfth good 1 third plus 1 sixth well 1 third equals 2 six. so 1 third plus 1 sixth equals 2 six plus 1 six, 3 six. And three six is equal to a half. Do it on your calculator, it's equal to a half. Three fifths take away one tenth. Well, three fifths is how many tenths? Times two the bottom, so times two the top, six tenths. Six tenths take away one tenth, five tenths. Do it on your calculator, your calculator goes straight to five tenths. Ching! Good. My name's Good Luck Gary. I'm in Hong Kong. I'm a teacher at the international schools. I work in the evenings and the weekends at people's homes, helping them get through exams. If you want me to come to your home, send a message to goodluckgaryhk at gmail.com. Press like, press subscribe. Bye!